Hi guys, this is Stephanie from Grow Green Homestead coming to you with a quick update video about my chayote squash plant that I planted. Um, this is only one plant. The other one died as I stated in the previous video. So this is just the stalk coming out um, that I planted in ground and it sent off a few shoots and it's still sending off more. Um, I planted this back in March, I think, but I've been growing it since um, January and December in my greenhouse. So, as I was looking at videos on YouTube, I see that it takes a couple months for it to actually produce fruit, and I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time as big as it is. This thing is huge. It's tower it is covering um, my entire um, cattle panel trellis, except for this little section right here, which is about to take over the blackberry bush, which is going crazy as well. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting with that. But they're both going crazy, and they're competing for space. As you can see on the inside, this is a blackberry. I got blackberry hanging down inside of here. Chayote squash vines hanging everywhere. But the problem is, as big and beautiful as this is, I have no flowers. No fruit. And they said it could take up to nine months. And it's just July. And it gets cold in October. So if I don't get anything within the next month or two, I'm not going to get anything from off this big plant. And it'll be very devastating that it made it to this point and I got nothing from off of it um, and they did say wasps do pollinate flowers whenever they do come on here but I don't see anything and on one of the videos um, the lady she usually breaks off the the little growth shoots on the end so it can stimulate growth um, like in these little spots here new vines I've been doing that and I still don't have anything producing flowers at all. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong or whatever, but I'm pretty proud of how far it's actually gotten. This is the biggest I've ever gotten it to grow after multiple failed attempts last year from it being in that um, box right there. So I'm glad to see it's this size, but I just wish that I had fruit on here. Um, I'm going to just keep letting it grow and let it die back in the winter time in uh, the end of October. Now, hopefully I'll be able to get some fruit from off there. Hopefully I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Um, other than that, this is it. My big gigantic chayote squash plant from seed. Well... That's all I really have. I have to do another update video of everything else going on in the garden. I've made a couple changes, so I will update you with that, and I will show you my fall area update as well. All right, thanks for watching, guys.